Well, the Texas National Guard is deploying 10 armored vehicles to the border to fight the high number of migrant encounters. 50 soldiers will be trained to operate the armored personnel vehicles designed to carry troops into battle, typically. The tanks will be stationed at 10 positions along the border to turn back immigrants trying to cross the border illegally. And I do want to bring in Ron Vitello, former Customs and Border Patrol Chief, head of ICE, the only person to be in charge of both. Ron, it is good to see you again. Thank you for being here. Good to be with you. Thanks. How do you see this latest effort uh, of Abbott bringing 10 armored tank like vehicles to safeguard the border? Realistically, could that have any effect? Well, it's another level of effort, if you will, right? Texas is overwhelmed by this activity on almost every part of their border. And they've got the Department of Public Safety engaged. Uh, they have the Texas Guard out already. And now this, um, this declaration and these additional troops with this equipment. Um, you know, puts more boots on the ground, puts more eyes and ears uh, in play. So is it really going to make a big difference? Not a lot, but it's, it's another demonstration of where the governor is trying to call attention to this problem, where the federal government has failed to have policies that, that protect that border uh, and to try to slow down this surge. I see. So, you know, Texas has already deployed Humvee vehicles, for example, to help at the border. These 10 tanks, not so much actually going to make a difference turning large number, a large number of people back in your eyes. This is mainly just another splashy way to make a statement. Yeah, they're going to put more boots on the ground. I think that will be additive to their deployments. But the vehicles in and of themselves, I'm, I'm not sure that makes that much of a difference. Okay. Well, Governor Greg Abbott, you know, has certainly uh, vociferously accused the Biden administration of failing to secure the border. In your eyes, with your experience, how does the U.S. solve this problem? What is the first step? Well, they have to arrange the incentives. There's many people that are in the pipeline coming to our border knowing that they might not be encountered at all by Border Patrol or law enforcement authorities. So they're going to get into the country and they're going to escape uh, federal authorities at the border. And then many of those who are arrested, right, the families and all of the children that come alone are being released into the country. That's a huge incentive for people from all over the world that are coming here now. So those incentives need to change. So the people who are amenable to deportation need to be held or what was previously done, this migrant protection protocols, allow everyone to have their due process if they want to see an immigration judge, if they want to claim asylum, but make them wait in Mexico or make them wait in a detention cell until they can have that hearing. Unless they change those incentives, uh, this problem is going to get worse. Yeah, and, and this problem, it, it certainly feels overwhelming. I mean, you can see the, the graphic at the bottom of our screen, more than 2 million illegal migrant, uh, migrants crossed so far just this year. Uh, is there anything, Ron, that, that is working, that, that does give you hope, that, that does seem like it might be an effective program or strategy going forward? Not, not, by, not, not enacted by this group, right? This administration has failed to use the tools that were available uh, when they took over. They, they rescinded uh, the, the migrant protection protocols. They rescinded the asylum accords with the Northern Triangle. And we see what's the result of that. We have this surge. They've been working on this problem supposedly since April. You know, they, they're going to surge resources. They're going to do this and they're going to do that. Everything they've done is made it worse. Um, and so they have to continue to they have to try something else because what they're doing now is not helping us. And you talk about being overwhelmed. The Border Patrol has been overwhelmed for almost two years now. The systems that are in place, the facilities, the people, the processing, the workflow, it's been overwhelmed for quite some time. And everything they've done has made it worse. All right. Ron Batello, appreciate your experience and the context you provide. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.